try and get a picture. Oh Lord. Okay, let's try doing it this way. Because otherwise it looks like a Sephora haul. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing for you guys another empties slash disappointing products video. Um, basically, over the last little bit I have collected some um, products, things that I either didn't like, I've decided are officially disappointing to me or whatever the case may be. So I thought I would go ahead and show you guys. I don't have any makeup on today. Um, I've actually been having this weird, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but my skin's been feeling kind of itchy lately, but it's not like from a rash, like there's no bumps or anything, just my skin. I think it's just too dried out, so I didn't wear any makeup today. Um, that's why I'm sans makeup right now. But let's jump in because I have got a lot of things to show you guys. Okay, so let's start with these because they're the first things on top. These are two different makeup wipes. These are the First Aid Beauty Caffeine Matcha Wake Up Wipes. They are safe for sensitive skin, allergy tested, alcohol free. So when I first started using these, I loved them. They were my favorite thing in the world to be using on my face. They were sensitive for my eyes. However, the longer I had the package and the longer that the package stayed open, the more I hated them. <laughs> I don't know if it was the smell or if they were just too harsh, but I didn't like how they felt on my skin anymore and the scent started to annoy me. What I repurchased. Oh no. I mean, I feel like I want to do it again to see if the same package does it again because I really liked them when I first got them. Um, but I don't know. I think I might have to... Maybe I'll buy another pack at some point. Try them again. Then you have the Clinique Pep Start Quick Cleansing Swipes. This is a package of 50 and I believe it retails for $15. I believe. Um, this is supposed to be allergy tested, fragrance free, removes dirt and oil which can clog your pores. Instant refresh for any time. These just felt like pure alcohol being rubbed on my face. I, I, I ended up using them as swatches for my hand, for hand swatches rather than removing my actual makeup. Um, I mean, it did take off my makeup, but it was just, it was too chemically and harsh on my skin, so probably will not repurchase these. For the amount you get in here, though, it's a good price. This still has a ton of gel on the bottom of it. Well, ironically enough, I have two <laughs> tea masks. Um, I know I'm holding this one up. I'm holding this one up saying because there's still some serum in it. This is the Tony Moly Skin Soothing I'm Real Tea Tree Mask Sheet. Yes, it says mask sheet, not sheet mask. Um, I really love the Tony Moly sheet masks. I have yet to try one that I don't like. Um, I do like this one a lot. I think if you are someone who has very irritated skin, I really wish I had one of these right now for my face. If you have very irritated skin, very dry skin, um, acne prone, whatever it may be, this is a really good one for almost every skin type because every skin needs soothing. Um, I think everyone should try a Tony Moly mask. He's literally got, I think, I think there's literally like 15. I think there's 15 different ones. And then this one is the Bosha Green Tea Mattifying Hydrogel Mask. This is one that's a two-piece mask. I do like this one. However, I didn't feel that it was quite as mattifying compared to the um, Sephora collection has one that's a green tea mattifying. I preferred that one more for the mattifying. But this one, I feel like it does help a little bit more with the acne breakouts because this one is designed to mattify, soothe, and refresh. I do feel like it did a little bit more because I get... The only place I really get breakouts are right here, like right up under my nose and then I'll get a couple here on my chin and occasionally one or two right here um they're usually stress related breakouts so that's what I get them from um so sometimes I'll pull this on just to calm everything down and it keeps the breakouts from getting worse so I would definitely repurchase this I just wouldn't repurchase it for the mattifying aspect if that makes sense I have a candle um this is from the fall collection of bath and body works this is totally burned out i couldn't burn it anymore it just wouldn't light which is deceiving because there's still it's still up to like here but for some reason one of my wicks ended here so it won't burn evenly so i gave up on it this is the heirloom apple um they always do some kind of an apple in the fall oh that smells so good oh my god i forgot um I usually always purchase one of the Apple ones that happened to be the one I purchased this fall. I finally finished it, tossed it in the bag, and totally forgot about it. Story of my life. 
I'm not gonna lie. Most of this is bath and body stuff just because you know you go through that faster than anything else. Let's do this. This is the Batiste dry shampoo in the Bare, which is the clean and light scent. I love Batiste dry shampoos. I think they're fantastic. I have two sitting on my vanity right now for me to use. Um, because one's almost empty, so I already grabbed my backup. But yeah, I tend to use the light and fresh ones. Um, I don't really use the blonde one, the brunette one, any of those. I just like them for the scents. I'm a mature adult. <laughs> you know. Speaking of hair, I've got a couple of hair products. A couple of hair things, I should say. I've got three things here. This is the OGX Hydrate and Repair Argon Oil of Morocco Creamy Hair Butter. You can leave it in or rinse it out. So, with my hair with how thick it is, the first thing I tried is leaving it in. Oh no. No, 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 no. I will never do that again. Um, I did like, leave, like it as a rinse out treatment, so I'm putting it in and leaving it for, I think it's like a minute or something like that. But for me, when I did it, I couldn't put it in my roots, otherwise it clogged up everything right here along my hairline. So I just kind of put it starting with where my ponytail goes, which I mean, you know, that is quite a bit of hair. Um, it took me a few guesses to figure out just how much was right for my hair, and by the time I finally figured it out, it was almost basically gone. So I really only got like two or three uses out of it instead of like a full ten. Um, just because I tried it a couple times, like, I literally scraped. Oh, there's still a little bit in here. Still smells good. I do like argon oil. I do like its properties. Will I repurchase this? Probably not, no matter how cheap it is. I just, no. Next, I have this guy. This is the OGX Hydrating Macadamia Oil Conditioner. I do love this. I love almost all the hair care lines from OGX. Um, I'm kind of in the future wanting to branch out a little bit more. I'm trying to learn how to fix my hair, repair it, and I'm planning on dyeing it again soon, so... Well, putting my highlights back in at least so um but I do like this one it's designed for dry damaged hair which is what my hair the longer it gets the more damaged it gets um I don't blow dry my hair or heat treat it in any kind of ways so to keep it just as pure as possible I like to keep some kind of a anti-damage hair treatment around usually a hydration of some kind next I have this is gonna be hard to read the this was one of my branching out experiences this is the not your, hold on, not your mother's clean freak refreshing shampoo. Ultra clean hair improves manageability, gentle for daily use, sulfate, paraben, and dye free for all hair types. I hated this. I had to squeeze so hard just to get this out of the little nozzle. And I, I don't understand why. It smells like mint. I have nothing against the smell. I like mint. Um, but it was just so difficult to get out of there. I was just like, no, no, this isn't even worth it at this point. F this, I'm done. Um, I will not repurchase that in the future. I currently have another OGX shampoo, like a giant one in my shower. So when I run out of that, which will probably happen in a month, I go through shampoos in about a month. Um, I'll probably try something else, but I haven't figured out what yet. So we shall see. This is the Lush Chuan Wen Hua hair treatment. This is a vitamin rich mask to improve the strength, shine, condition, and happiness of your hair and scalp. I've been using this for ages. I love this mask. What you do with it is you put it in before you shower, take your bath, whatever it is you may do. You leave it in for about 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse it out. So I tend to do it as a shower portion, you know, do it before I shower, not before I take a bath because I don't want to sit in a hair mask. Um, rinse it all out and it just feels so clean and it feels like it absorbs really nicely into my scalp and hydrates it. I love it. It's amazing. We'll always repurchase the Chouam Hua. Ooh, that's a lie. I have another hair care product. If you watched my first BoxyCharm unboxing, which what month was that? Um, I got this. This is the Hair Girt Smooth Smoothing 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 Yogurt Hair Mask. I loved this actually. I liked it a lot more than my Moroccan oil one, which is what I bought at the same time. This one I loved a lot more. I don't know if I'd repurchase just because I did like it, but I didn't. It didn't wow me, I guess. I felt like it did help keep my hair from getting greasy, but it didn't really do anything to like improve my scalp in any way. So maybe, maybe not, who knows. Okay, so kind of my last bath and body product is this, this is very old, old, old packaging from when I used to work at Bath and Body Works. This is the Vanilla Bean Noel um, Sparkling Snowflake Scrub. I don't even know if they make this anymore. I will not repurchase it. It did not scrub enough. I do like the smell of the Vanilla Bean Noel products, but this just, not enough. Not enough scrub. Sorry.
Next, I have this. This is the Eco Tools Makeup Brush Shampoo, which is a deep cleanse for your makeup brushes. I do love this. I actually have already repurchased this. It is actually sitting over on my nightstand. <laughs> on my nightstand over here. My bed's a mess. It's sitting over there for me to use now. Love it. Next, I have this. This is the EOS Lip Balm in, I believe, Vanilla Mint. Yes, Vanilla Mint. Vanilla Coconut, something like that. Um, the reason why this is in here, I obviously still have some left. It just, it smelled like it was starting to go bad. It doesn't quite smell right. So I decided it was probably time to toss this. I just never reach for lip balms. I tend to reach for ones in pots that are like really intense lip treatments. So this one, probably not going to repurchase. Next, I have a little travel size of the Alginist Genius Ultimate Anti-Aging Vitamin C Plus Serum. I do like this. I especially liked it for my under eye area as well as kind of where crow's feet form. Um, I used this ages ago. I do like how it smells. It's got kind of a, you know, orangey smell just has that nice lightweight feel. Alginist in the full size, these are pretty darn pricey. I don't know the exact price off the top of my head. I want to say it's like 90 bucks, so I probably won't be repurchasing it, but it was nice while I had it. And my last two skincare kind of products before I move on to what I have for beauty in here are these. These are two of the Josie Marrow Whipped Mud Masks from the five set of the mud masks. I have the Sweet Basil Mint and the Cucumber Aloe. Love these. I just love the whipped mask. I think it's amazing. I really only like it with the scents to it though. I don't like the non-scented, the just straight up argan oil one. I like these, so I would have to repurchase the whole five set. I still have three left, so I'll let you know how I feel about those. The only one I don't really like is the lavender one, just because I'm not a lavender person. But these, amazing. Totally worth the money. If you hate what these smell like, buy the regular one. So on to the beauty things. First stuff I have this. This is the Real Techniques Miracle Sculpting Sponge, I believe is its name. I really like this guy. I like how flat it is to get right up under your eye. I like the rounded side for getting kind of up and under your nose. Little tiny guy for concealer. My problem is this guy, he finally, finally ripped. So he's gone now. Um, I will be repurchasing one of these. Next, the Benefit Professional. You know, for, for a primer, it just, for my skin, it doesn't wow me a lot. Um, I prefer my Maybelline Master Blur. And I think this one went bad because it kind of has a weird smell to it. Not its normal silicone smell. It's definitely got a weird smell to it. And I feel like no matter what foundation I used with it, it's still, I don't know if you can tell, but it, it just, it just pills up all over my fingers and it doesn't, blend in nicely with my skin so I just next is this if you have watched any any of my makeup tutorials in the past six months you will recognize this guy this is the benefit bravo conditioning primer this is the travel tiny guy this doesn't I have to really work to twist it because obviously this guy's totally empty I already have two of the full size backups I'm all set oh my fingers feel so gross um this is clear, it's just designed to help prime and prep your brows to do your brows to fill them in. Love this stuff, we'll always repurchase. I have a travel size of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I put this in here because I've tried the full size and I loved the full size. The travel size, I don't like. It's way clumpier, way more wet, way more, it, I didn't like it. I think the brush is just too big for this size of a tube. I think they should make it smaller for the travel size. I know that they don't want to, but they should at least, you know, shorten the wand length, the width, all that jazz, because it just makes it so much better. I didn't like it. There's either that or I got a dud. I don't know, but this was a no for the travel size. Yes, for the full size. Next was this. This is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Radiance Booster Brightening Primer with 24-hour hydration in the shade 100. This is designed to instantly brighten for a radiant finish, smooths an even skin tone, infused with nourishing oils, lightweight, and non-greasy. I didn't like this. <laughs> Every foundation I tried it with, it di it just... No. This one is also in here. This is the Sonia Kashuk Soft Focus Satin Matte Foundation. I have it in the shade 01 Bisque. How the hell is Bisque shade 01? Look at this. Look at that. It's too dark for everything. It's like straight up orange, so let's put it on. So on my hand, it doesn't look too dark, but either it oxidizes or something. Because it was just way too yellow and way too dark for me. It just, there you go. You can kind of see how yellow it is. 
No. And it's too dark on my hand, let alone my face. It just goes with no. I have this. This brush was just shedding too much. I couldn't keep the heat still a little powder. This is a Sephora powder brush. It came in the um, Face the Day set. I think I bought it about seven or eight years ago. It's finally, every time I use it, there are just hairs falling out of it. So I kind of said, F it and tossed it in my trash bin. Um, so this guy, I do love it. It lasts me a long time. It was really nice for bronzer, for setting powder, for blending out blush, bronzer, highlight, contour, all that in nine yards. So this one is great. I do have a whole bunch of powder brushes, so I probably won't repurchase this anytime soon, but I did love it. Next, I have the BH Cosmetics HD Brow Pencil in the shade Blonde. Um, this is totally empty. Nothing left. Um, I do love this. It took me forever to realize that there actually is a spoolie on the end. Um, I do love the pencil. I love the color. It's a little bit lighter than the Anastasia Taupe, um, but it's not... It's, it's as ashy as taupe, but it's lighter, so it works really nice for me because I like my brows to be on the softer side color-wise, not too dark. Um, so this is honestly like my favorite brow pencil in the world now. It's a really great price. It's like five bucks or whatever on BH Cosmetics. Totally worth it. They don't have a whole lot of shades though, but I have already repurchased and I probably will always repurchase until I decide, okay, that's enough. I have this, um, I don't know if the video I did this, these next two things were in the same video. I don't know if that video is already up before this. If it is, I will link it on the screen somewhere. Um, this is the Honest Beauty Magic Balm. It is designed to be a face primer, a moisturizer, a whole bunch of magical things. I hated it. It's greasy. It felt horrible. It smells like rotten lemons. I didn't like it. And I probably will not use it ever again. I just did not like how it made my skin feel. Oh my god. Maybe I'm allergic to that. <laughs> okay, maybe it is an allergic reaction with the itchiness. Maybe that just dried everything out too much. Okay. Well, definitely not touching it again. And last but not least, I have the L'Oreal Voluminous Base Mascara. I just, it didn't volumize. I didn't like it. Um, if you're curious to see my full thoughts on these last two products, either I will, you need to check out the video I linked, or it will be in the next video. Pretty sure it's going up before this one, though. So, yeah. That is everything. I want to thank you guys so much for watching me dig through my trash. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!